recently on this channel, I did a video uh, that talked about why uh, some conservative Presbyterians uh, try not to use uh, images of Jesus, uh, not just in their churches, not just in worship settings, but also in educational settings, uh, even educational settings for children, which means uh, no images of Jesus in children's Bibles, in Bible storybooks, uh, things like that. Now, if you've ever looked for Bible storybooks or children's Bibles that don't have images of Jesus in them, uh, I'll tell you, it's not very easy. Most, most Bibles uh, will, uh, when, they, when they relate the stories of the life of Jesus, for example, will uh, attempt to represent Jesus uh, in, 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 those, in those books. Uh, and if you want to avoid those, uh, you're left with very few options. So today I want to look at two series of books uh, that, uh, that I think do, a, do a, a good job of, first of all, not using images of Jesus, but also faithfully telling uh, the stories of the life of Jesus. So both of these series are by an author named Karen McKenzie. Uh, she's written many, many, many books for children on the subject of the Bible, not just the New Testament life of Jesus, but, but the entire Bible. Uh, and I'm, I don't know for a fact that all of her books avoid images of Jesus, but at least many of them do. So um, today we're going to look at two series. One of them is called uh, Bible Wise, and the other is called Bible Alive. And we'll look at the difference uh, between these, these two series. So the first one I'm going to show you here, I'll bring it up, uh, bring up a website where you can view, where you can see what it looks like. Uh, so there's the cover. Uh, this is the this is the story of the birth and uh, and early childhood of Jesus. So Jesus, the promised child. I have a copy of the same book in Spanish right here. Uh, so these many of these books uh, are available in multiple languages uh, if you're interested. Uh, and I happen to have the, the Spanish copy. So here's the copy that I have. Uh, Jesus, the 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 promised child, uh, and. So you might be wondering, how can you have a book about the birth of Jesus that doesn't uh, show uh, images of Jesus? Uh, seems rather difficult, right? So this story begins with, with Mary and Joseph, uh, their, uh, their betrothal, uh, and leading up to their travel to Bethlehem. And then the, the birth of Jesus is represented on, on this page. So you see, for example, uh, that uh, you see Joseph, you see Mary, you see the donkey, you see the manger, but there is no, uh, no representation of Jesus himself uh, in, this, in this scene. The story then continues on talking about the shepherds, talking about the, the wise men, uh, the, the trip to the temple uh, in between those, uh, and then the, the flight to Egypt, and then the return to Nazareth. And so we can see, for example, here in the, the scene of the going to the temple, uh, you see Simeon there, you see Mary and Joseph, but the, but the baby uh, himself is, is not visible. Uh, one thing I'll point out in this particular series, uh, you'll see this in the next book that I'll look at as well, but the, the amount of text on each page, uh, there's a fair amount of text, right? You can see that uh, the font size is rather small, uh, and that the amount of text, there's a little bit more detail uh, in each of, on each of the pages. Um, that might be that makes this that makes this a, a, a substantial a substantial story. This isn't just something you're going to read uh, in a couple of minutes to your kid uh, every evening. Um, but let's now look at the next one. So this is the this is the the birth and early childhood of Jesus. Now let's look at another one in the same series. This is the resurrection or the death and resurrection of Jesus. And so here, for example, in this scene, you see this is the, the this is where. Uh, Jesus would be uh, is praying. Uh, the story here on the right, on the on this side, is where is the description of Jesus praying and the, and the disciples uh, falling asleep. And so instead of showing Jesus praying as many books would do, instead we see the disciples sleeping. Uh, and the same thing is true of the actual resurrection uh, and uh, the and the. So for example, when you see uh, Jesus appearing to Mary. Um, we see the, the scene shown is just Mary, and we don't actually see an image of Jesus here. So you get a substantial story of both the, you can get a substantial story of both the resurrection and the birth of Jesus uh, without using images of Jesus uh, with, with this series Bible-wise. The other series that I want to show you 
yeah, also by Karen McKenzie, is Bible Alive. Now, this one's a little bit different uh, because it's the same, same form. The books are the same size and so forth. Again, uh, I have these in Spanish, and I'll show you the, the different uh, website here. This is Jesus the Child. Uh, and But the difference with these is that the detail, uh, there, there's not as much detail in the story, and the story uh, tends to be a little bit more extensive. It tends to cover a little bit more ground. So here, uh, Jesus the Child, uh, we can look, for example, at the page uh, of the birth of Jesus, and we're going to see that the text is bigger. Uh, the illustrator is different, so the, it's a different style of, of image there. The text is larger. It's a little bit easier to read and a little bit faster to read, not as much text per page. Um, same number of pages in the book, less text per page, uh, and also a little bit broader uh, coverage of the story. So, for example, this one also includes the story of Jesus when he's 12, uh, going to uh, the temple and, and being left there um, by his parents. So, uh, but so the main difference here, a little bit broader coverage of the story of the childhood of Jesus, a little bit less text per page makes this a little bit easier to work through with a child with a little bit shorter uh, attention span. Uh, there are other books in both of these series that aren't just related to the, so they're not just uh, focused on the, the, the life of Jesus. Um, but I'll show you a couple more examples from this Bible Alive series that, that talk specifically about the, the, the life of Jesus. Uh, this first one uh, is Jesus the Healer. Um, so you see here, again in Spanish, um, and so you think about the miracles of Jesus and in, in him healing people. Here's uh, Bartholomew, the blind beggar, uh, who Jesus uh, gives, gives sight to. And so we see here uh, Bartholomew himself, uh, as well as some people in the crowd, but again, no image of Jesus. And so this book covers a lot of the, the healing miracles of Jesus, the demon possessed, the blind, uh, the lame, uh, and so forth. Uh, another one then uh, is Jesus... Uh, the miracle worker and so here this one uh, here's the scene of Jesus walking on water we have the the image of uh, the disciples in the boat and then going to the next page we uh, have the conversation between Jesus and Peter Peter walking on water and then beginning to sink so we get that story related uh, but without the uh, but without the images of Jesus so I hope that was helpful. I uh, hope that these, uh, that if you're looking for books like this that that have the, um, that that don't use images of Jesus, that uh, you'll take a look at you'll look at these books. I'll put some links in the description uh, so that you can find them more easily, or you can just search for them uh, in your favorite search engine. All right. I uh, hope this was helpful. Feel free to subscribe and give this video a like. If so, thanks.